What I understood, Sheikh, you to say is that um, regarding the women, and you said three times, and the women and the woman, um, that there is a phenomenon that um, in the West, the picture of Muslim women is that they are depressed. They don't have their rights. Uh, they, they're not advanced. They're not progressive. Uh, they are, are kept inside their home. And they're not involved in the society. Mm. They have to follow their man. And they give this kind of a picture of women in the Muslim world. Yet Muslim women in the West, they're supposed to be free. They're supposed to be having democratic rights. Uh, they're supposed to be progressive. Uh, they're supposed to be liberal. They are open. They can work. They can do everything. Mm. So why are women in the West accepting Islam more than men when such a picture exists? I think that's what you said. Yes. Okay. Logos, the logos so kidding. alhamdulillah, mashallah. I will give you my experience. I'll give you from my own experience, mashallah. Alhamdulillah, I have seven daughters. Mashallah. I have seven sisters. Mashallah. Uh, and so from that experience, I can tell you that there is something within the Islamic message that bypasses, again, all of those contradictions. Because when the Quran is speaking, the, the Quran is speaking to the heart of women. The Quran is speaking also to the mentality of women. Islam for women is, uh, women are to Islam what bread is to the oven. Women are to Islam what bread is to the oven. So women are inclined towards Islam because Islam gives them warmth. Islam gives them value. Islam gives them spirit. Islam gives them dignity and they can feel it. <coughs> Secondly, when the women hear about Muhammad Islam, they see a real man. A real man, not muscle man, not rich man, not playboy man, but real man with values, with responsibility, with dignity for his mother, dignity for his wife, dignity Yansin, for his neighbor. And that woman, she wants to have a man like Muhammad Wasallam. And even if we, you and I, we are not like Muhammad Wasallam because we are weak, still that woman prefer a weak one like Muhammad Wasallam than the strong one who don't have that dignity. And so Islam brings dignity to the human being, to the society. And Sheikh, women are like this from my experience. Anyone that protects their children and anyone that gives to them their family value, women, they want that. And so Islam uh, guarantees and protects the dignity of children. And Islam brings back the value of the family. And who is the governess of the family? It is the woman. So those women who sit down and read the Quran and who look at the Sunnah of Muhammad Wasallam, even if they don't become Muslim, they're respecting the Muslim. This is the phenomena of the Quran. And this is the phenomena of the Sunnah of Muhammad Wasallam. Whoever, whoever listen carefully about Muhammad Wasallam, they see in him real man. And whoever reads the Quran, listen to the Quran, they hear in a dialectic they never heard before. And so it is true, Sheikh. In my experience, I would say that for every man who accepts Islam from my hands, I can say at least two women. Mm. In many cases, three to one. Why? Women normally, they don't have ego. Man, he have ego. If you want to talk to a man, he have lots of kalam. Because his ego. But the woman, no ego. The woman built for submission. The woman is like a cup. You pour, it fill. The man, he's not like cup. The man is upside down. He take. The man, he always taking. Woman, she receiving. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, your wives, halthu lakum. Halthu lakum. Huh? So they receive. The man, he's taking. So man, he always got lots of talk, 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 talk. But if you sit and talk to a woman, once she accept what you have to say, she accept. This is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The first person to accept Islam is who? Woman. Woman. Khadija. See, when he's just Tajr, he's not prophet yet. He's just Tajr. She see him. He's young. 
He's honest. He's energetic. He's smart. She select him. Women like that. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi don't select her. She select him. No, okay, also, the first person to help him, first person to help Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi his uncle, Abu Talib. Tajir. Mutajir, right? Yes, yes. Okay, the first person to accept Islam from Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi his wife. She is also what? Businesswoman. So always Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala surround the Prophet Sallallahu with business people. And this is why if a man is a businessman, his wife will usually be loyal. Why? Because the man is giving, uh, what's called it? Nafqa. Nafqa. The man giving, nafqa. nafqa. The woman, she appreciate. Women are loyal. Women will follow. You don't have to command them. If you have the good example, they will follow. And so I think today, I say to Muslim sisters, if our sisters are confident, if our sisters are smart, if they are educated, if they are strong and they are resourceful, they will be the main line of our da'wah. Why? Because they will get talk to other women and other women will come. And if the women come to Islam, the children will come to Islam. Mm. And if the women and children come to Islam, the men are going to follow. Right. And so this is the phenomena how Islam start in the beginning. And this is the phenomena how Islam is starting now. Wallahu a'lam.